far as I know. Hunter. We got a puppy. This is my first time shooting intros with him around. Are you done? He just burped. All right. So, seriously, stop. Out. Wait, stop. He says, I just want to be a part of the video, Mom. Sit down. Don't eat my clothes. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Well, anyways, what I'm sharing with you guys today is personal street signs. And this is a really simple Cricut project. Super simple. All you're gonna use is vinyl and something to put it on. I got this metal thing at uh, Michael's. They're $8. You can use your coupon and get it for $4. So it's a really super cheap project, but it's so cool. So I made one of these that said, so what inspired me was my nephew, my great nephew. So I made him a street sign that said Mason Lane and then I put his birthday as like the address number. But I was thinking it'd be cool to do like anniversary signs or whatever. So if you have a last name or you have like a cute saying if you're just boyfriend and girlfriend or something or you're not in, if you're not married yet, you could probably do something, a different something cute like true love way and then your dating anniversary or lots of things so if you guys do it make sure you share it with me on Instagram because I want to see what you guys come up with for this this is super simple just one color and you're good to go so if you don't have a Cricut there's a link down below always so let's get going on how to make these let's do this Alright you guys, I'm going to show you how I designed this on PicMonkey. I actually pay the $4.99 to use all of the elements of PicMonkey. I start by setting my canvas to the size of the project that I'm making um, so that I can visualize exactly what I'm going to be doing. And I'm just going to go in and find the font that I want and play around with what I want it to say. As you can see, I worked a little bit with it and I ended up you know, changing some of the fonts and changing how it said it. I was originally going to put DeVrenz, but then I ended up just putting DeVrend Boulevard and just working with my letters. Once I get them to the size that I want and I think that it looks good, I'm gonna actually move them up into the corner so that I save space when cutting and then I'll move them around on the actual project. So then you're just gonna save this as a PNG image so it has a transparent background and we're gonna cut it out in the Cricut Design Space. I will show you guys how to do that on the how to use vinyl and everything about vinyl video that is coming up soon. So then we're going to cut it out and I'm using my longer mat for this project since it is a big project and I'm going to use a technique that I kind of taught myself. I put the plastic back onto the mat and let it go about an inch down so I work with the vinyl and get it exactly straight how I want it and then I slowly pull the plastic off and squeegee it on so that there's no air bubbles and I don't get crazy with it. And then I just rotary cut it halfway because I'm not going to be using all of this vinyl and I didn't want to have to do that afterwards. So I got all my tools ready to go for weeding and all of that for when it's done being cut. I'm going to set my machine to vinyl and cut it out. Once again, if you guys want to know more about exactly how to do all these steps, I'm going to be putting up tutorials on how to use each different um, product that Cricut offers pretty soon. So make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. So since I didn't want to use up too much transfer tape, I just went ahead and did one half of my design at a time by squeegeeing it on to it's not called squeegeeing but I like to say squeegee so I just said I'm squeegeeing it it's really like scraping all the bubbles out and then I'm just gonna do one half of my project at a time so that I don't have to use up two feet of my transfer tape you'll also need transfer tape for this project if you don't have any because vinyl requires transfer tape and then I'm gonna finish it up by doing the rest of it you don't need to use the strong grip transfer tape for this because we're just using regular old vinyl and regular vinyl is super easy to use and comes up super fast. Alright guys, that's it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to click subscribe. Love you guys. Bye.